What's up LNT fam? Welcome back to another video. I got myself a new project 2021 Porsche Cayenne Coupe. Brand new car. Customer just purchased it and brought it straight to us. We're going to do a little bit of customization to it. So let's do a quick walk around and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with it. We'll start with the front end. Front end customer does not want a front license plate. So we're going to remove this and patch the holes up. And that's it with the front end. On the side we're going to get rid of the orange. Uh, we're going to either paint them white either uh, get them smoked or clear hopefully they have them available and then uh, wheels we're getting different wheels we're getting 22 inch wheels and we're gonna do red calipers then we're gonna paint glass black uh, mirrors completely glass black door handles everywhere and then with the rear end uh, we're gonna replace the tail lights we're gonna put clear we're gonna put different exhaust tips and get rid of this cayenne just gonna leave nice clean Porsche sign and that's it with the car little customization little video for you guys new week new video you know <laughs> i've been mia so we gotta catch up on the time i was gone so um, let's pull the car inside start taking everything apart and we'll go from there got the Porsche inside of the shop so now we could start taking everything apart and we'll start with the front bumper and work our way to the back so we'll do front bumper first uh, remove the mirrors and uh, door handles that's what's gonna get painted and then we'll wait uh, for new tires and new wheels and new tail lights supposed to come in and we'll paint the calipers as well So we'll start with uh, removing all the covers in order to get to the bolt. Got to remove this one, then I got to remove this uh, handle as well, the releaser. It's just a clip right here and it just snaps up. And then bumper, a couple bolts here, you got to remove those side flares and bunch of screws at the bottom and it should come off let's do it and first things first i get a bag and i tag and bag everything so nothing gets lost let's remove this boom this is removed put this in the back and this cover should just pop up and it's removed so now we could get to the bolts there's uh, four of those on top I was gonna use a uh, quick jacks but unfortunately they're not long enough because I got the uh, shorter ones for uh, regular supercars sedan cars and stuff like that for suvs they have different size so unfortunately gonna have to use the jacks on this one jack jack come back <laughs> so uh, let's uh, remove all the bolts at the bottom and remove the bumper we'll put some jack stands safety first and one more on the other side so now we're safe Just removed the bolts at the bottom of the bumper so now we could remove the bolts on the sides and the bumper will come off pretty easy so a few screws right here the only difficult is to remove this uh, plastic piece you gotta really carefully not to damage it i'm gonna remove the front wheels as well because we got some new ones <laughs> I removed the front wheels this way I got more room to remove the side moldings and also we just got new wheels over there. So 
So we'll test fit them as well. Before we get the tires, I want to test fit, make sure everything fits good, and then we'll install the tires. So I end up removing the fender liner completely, so it's not in my way. Like I said before, I hate working when something is in my way. It's all about being comfortable while you're working, even if you have to remove a couple extra bolts. Much better. Now I have all the room to remove this molding without me. Try to bend this down and try to get in there. Now I see there is a bolt right here, right here, and then a few clips at the bottom. Now it's coming out. It's very easy. Boom, and it's removed. Very easy. We got a couple of bolts. Screws, and that's it. Bumper should come off. We'll do the same thing on the other side, and bumper is removed. I remove all the bolts from the bumper, so now I could remove it. And before I remove it, I'm gonna remove the headlights so I don't damage the corners. They're very sensitive, and the way the bumper comes out, you could chip one of those corners. So I usually always remove them. It's super easy, two bolts, and they just slide out. So we'll remove both of them, and then we'll remove the bumper. And they just slide up like this. Boom. And that's it. And there's a clip right here too, so see how much it goes in behind the bumper. And those corners are really easy to chip them, so we definitely don't want to do that. And same with this one. Bam, boom, and it's out. And this edge is really sketchy. I don't want to break any tabs. And this way I removed the headlight so I could get in from here and give a little push. Boom. See this last tab is really shoved in there. So usually if you don't remove the headlight, most likely you're gonna break the last tab. And that's not what I want to do here. Definitely don't want to break any tabs. And let's do the same thing on this side. So those come out pretty easy on the side, but this one gets pretty tough. Come on. Boom, and it's out. No tabs broken. Let's see, we don't have any washer nozzle, so should just come off right now. Boom. Just removed the bumper, so we're all done with it, and we got to test out the new wheels. Let's take a look at them and see what they look like. So they're staggered wheels, and this is the rear one. size 13 pretty much same size of my shoe looks amazing what do you guys think yeah or nay i think it's yeah i always like to check my wheels uh, before i put tires make sure everything lines up everything fits good before we install the tires Yeah, that looks clean, and then we're gonna have a red caliper, so that's gonna pop. And they're pretty flush with the fenders, I would say. Okay, super, happy with the fitment. So uh, we could order the tires, mount and balance them, and we're ready to go. So right now I'm gonna start taking the door panel apart in order to get to the mirror. You gotta remove the door panel. There is one bolt, big bolt holding the mirror, and then I gotta disconnect the wires. But you remove this door panel, you gotta remove this cover, you gotta remove this cover, this cover. Then there should be a bolt right here. So one, two, three, four, 
probably five somewhere maybe two bolts right here so somewhere around this area so let's remove everything and we'll go from there come on boom removed and there's a couple pins holding it and then there is a bolt right there and now we've got to remove this piece They made it really, really tight. Boom, and it's removed. So we got one bolt, two bolt, and then three, and then four probably right here. Boom, another one removed. Remove the light. And then the final bolt is right here. So actually we got one, two three four five five bolts and this panel will come off boom and time to remove this panel and then i'll use something like this as well tuck it in underneath Boom, and it's off. So now I could remove the mural and there's one big screw holding it. Just gotta hold the mural so it doesn't fall. Got the bolt. And it's removed. So next I gotta remove the door handle and we're done with this door. Boom, and it's removed. And then what I usually do, I'll get the cable from the inside and stick it out. So this way we could open the door anytime without any problems. Then to remove the rear door handle, you gotta get a tool like this. And it's a plastic little piece that you gotta pull. Pretty much same system as Volkswagen. it's removed just gotta make sure this wire doesn't fall in because then i'm gonna have to take the door panel apart and we'll do the same thing on this side boom and we're done and we'll put some tape as well so this way my wire doesn't fall through So next we're gonna take apart the passenger side and same thing, I gotta remove the door panel in order to remove the mural. Same process pretty much. So right now I'm gonna take this bumper completely apart. So this way I could repair the bumper and we're gonna repaint it. Man, so many plastics they put, crazy. I miss the bumpers where you just remove the bumper and that's it, there's no plastics behind it. Not like this, million pieces, million pieces. So next we'll remove the side grills just took the front bumper completely apart so now we could fix the bumper holes and repaint the bumper completely yeah unfortunately this is what you get when you have a front plate big holes but the customer doesn't want those anymore so we'll repair those right now and i'll show you how i repair those and this is what this bumper looks like yeah tons of pieces so this is why the bumper is nowadays so expensive and then you'll find that used bumper on craigslist or ebay and it's like 350 bucks yeah that's cheap just for the bumper cover but don't forget all those plastic pieces and most likely they're all going to be from the dealer it's hard to find used all those plastics so that's why nowadays from bumper costs you up to five grand by the time you piece everything together but hey 
anyways, let's continue working on the bumper. What I usually do when I'm patching up a hose or something, I'll find an old used bumper that we don't need and I'll cut a little piece and then I'll mark my holes exactly how they are. So right now I'll cut this one out and we'll patch it up with the holes and then we'll put a patch behind the bumper as well. So it will be super, super solid. So let's mark all of them, cut it out and weld them in there with a plastic welder and it's going to be solid. And then we'll put a little bit of body filler. So this way later on, it's not going to crack or anything like that. So it'll be as strong as before, if not stronger. So I cut the little piece out and look how tiny it is. So right now with the grinder, I'll shape it up where it just fits in there like a glove, solid. Let's do this. So this is how small this little guy is and it fits like a glove in there. That's what we need. Boom, boom, and it's perfect. So we got three more to go. But this is the proper way to do it. We get this piece and then just trace it down. I usually like to go somewhere in the corner. Boom. So we'll cut it out. And now I'm gonna shape it. in two more to go That's it, so I just cut out the plugs for my holes, so everything looking good. Let's take a look. Boom, look at this, perfect. Everything is super smooth, and same on this side. So right now I'll send this down on both sides, and I'll use a plastic welder, and I'll weld them inside, and then we'll put a patch behind them, and up front we'll do a little bit of body filler and glaze, and should be good. So something like this, this is the proper way to patch up the holes and it's the cleanest way as well takes a little more time but it's gonna be done the proper way so let's send that down we use our little welder and then we'll put body filler let's go So right now we'll use 150 to send it down all the way to the paint. So this way we have a nice foundation when we put the body filler. So this is what it should look like, the final product, before you put body filler. Boom, check it out. So you can't even feel them, super smooth. And here is your patches. And same with the back end. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. So we'll get a gun like this. This is for welding plastic or any of that stuff. And we'll weld the holes in. I'll show you. Just like that. Same thing on this side. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll go over it with the sander one more time.
and same thing on the other side and then on this side we'll go over with 150 so we just need to make it smooth again boom something like this and let me show you how i'm gonna patch it up from behind let's flip the bumper so in the back of the bumper we'll get this uh, mesh and we'll apply it right in the back and then we'll put some glue we'll cut two pieces like this go like this and same thing for the other side something like this nice and clean and i'll be using this 3m special plastic repair and this epoxy is like the best it's made for plastic repair and this is the number so if you guys need something strong highly recommend this is the stuff so i got a little brush so i'll squeeze some out uh, make it nice and straight everything and let it dry out and it's fully dry in an hour little more and that's it we're gonna let it dry up 15 minutes and it should be good but completely completely where it's rock solid hard it's in about an hour to uh, completely dry out but yeah something like this and it's gonna be perfect my friends so you ever got to patch up holes, that's the process you got to go through. So in the front, we'll apply a little bit of body filler and glaze and we'll be done. Everything's super smooth already, so I just need a little body filler right here and we'll be done. everything is dry so now we could start sending the body filler uh, yeah completely dry we'll use 150 as well Next, I'll go over with 320 to make it super smooth. Next, we're ready for glaze. But see how barely any body filler you could just see through almost just enough to patch up the holes. So we'll apply glaze next on those two spots and it's ready for primer. that's it just applies the final the glaze we're gonna let this dry out and should be good as new So right now I gotta take the mirrors completely apart because we're gonna paint this plastic, glass black, this one and this one. So I gotta remove the camera, the side markers and all the guts inside. So that should be fun. Let's do this. And once again, gotta do everything super carefully so nothing breaks. And I gotta remove this mirror. Let me get a flashlight for this as well. It's really hard to see, but there's gotta be like a little pin that you pop Oh, there it goes. Disconnect everything. And take a picture. 
Try to remove everything super carefully without breaking. And then reinstall everything back without scratching. Always take pictures because we have phones. That will make your life a lot easier later. And always don't forget to tag and bag everything because you don't want to lose no screws, no bolts, no nothing. Because we gotta reuse everything back. Well, this comes off. Boom. So this piece is all ready for paint. So now I gotta remove uh, everything from this. Gotta free those two plastics. We've got a couple screws up here. Just go up. Boom. And then we got a couple more screws up here. Should be fun installing everything back. <laughs> And we're done with one side. So next time somebody tells you it's thousand bucks to paint your murals, don't be surprised. This is why, because a lot of work needs to be done to remove them without breaking anything and to install them back without scratching anything. But in order to get to the murals, you got to remove the door panel, remove the mural, and then this stuff. Look how many pieces and you have to put everything back super carefully without scratching anything. That's the most difficult part. Something like this. Let's jump on the other side and knock it out so Andre could get this painted as soon as possible. Tag and bag, and that's it. So right now we'll start with the trunk. That's the easiest. I gotta remove this cover and then we'll get to the bolts. And then the side ones are more difficult because I'm gonna have to remove the panels on both sides just to get to this side bolt. Kind of stupid that they put a side bolt right here. I wish it would just slide in there and then two bolts right here. But yeah, I'm gonna have to struggle with this. And then the center one, like I said, uh, pretty easy. Just gotta remove the panel and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts holding the center light. So we'll start with the easiest one and then we'll do the quarter panel tail lights. Let's go. Just gotta remove all the clips and bolts. There's one, two. And then the rest should be on clips everything. Okay, now we could get to the bolts. So I guess on the Grand Coupe, it's a little different. You gotta remove just one bolt right here, and one over here, and then I put the spoiler up already, and the rest of the bolts, I guess I gotta get through here, uh, remove those covers, and somehow get inside. Hmm. Yeah, completely different than the regular SUV sedan. Okay, looks like a pain in the butt, but somebody has to do it. Let's go. One is out. Six more to go. Okay. 
Okay, we're getting somewhere, I think. Got to remove this cover, gotta remove this cover, and this cover, and hope I could get you the bolts in the middle. Yeah, this is definitely no fun. Hope I'm not gonna have to remove the, the wing to get you there. Bunch of clips. Very stupid design. Okay, covers removed. Uh, okay, I, I could feel the bolts now. Oh, I, I'm gonna be in trouble when I have to remove this spoiler. Definitely doesn't look like it's that easy to remove this spoiler, but luckily, we dodged the bullet. Boom. And I had to use uh, something sticky. This is a uh, sticky stuff, so this way the bolt doesn't fall and I lose the bolt, because then we're gonna be in trouble. But yeah, nowadays everything just gets so uh, complicated. Nothing is easy anymore, especially on the new cars, because they put so much stuff. Look at this, just to change the rear tail lights, you gotta take pretty much half of the car apart. So that's why whenever you go to a repair shop and they give you, a, or it sounds like a high uh, price, but in real life it's not, because you guys don't understand how much it goes into just to replace the small stuff. For example, tail lights, it's like, really? Yeah. Now, it's expensive, but see how much work you gotta do just to get to them. And one more in the corner. This is the hardest one. You literally got barely any room. Cause you gotta find the bolt. It's like in the hole. Okay, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is what I gotta deal with. Kind of just feel it by hand and without looking. Finally, got it out. There's the clip. Boom. Finally came off. this and this is the best feeling right here to remove this plastic Ooh. that looks fresh and also this Porsche emblem inside letters they're blocked out so no chrome on this car whatsoever so we're getting rid of everything and this guy be black as well to match. Would you put the red lights or you put the clear lights? Uh, comment below, would love to hear your feedback on this one. That's it, just secured the tail light completely. So now I could put a cover and start putting the inside trim as well. So now we could install the inside trunk trim and we'll be done with the center and then we'll start working on the sides but definitely need to charge more next time <laughs> a lot more work That's it, we're done with the center and it looks a lot better actually, I like it more than red. Yeah, it comes out a lot better in my opinion. Okay, let's do the quarters now and we'll put the car on the lift and do the exhaust and calipers. Now comes the fun part. I gotta remove both of those side panels in order to get to the tail light bolts. So 
we'll start with the boom box. Okay, now we removed the spare tire, so now I could move this. Then for the side, I gotta get a long extension and try to come from the side. Okay, so now the tail light should come off. Boom. Finish with this side, time to button everything up and do the same thing on the other side. Should be fun. But yeah, I had to remove the side panel and same thing on this side. Because the bolt is right there. That's the bolt that's stashed away right there. So that's the only way to get in there from this side pocket. So nothing is easy anymore nowadays. Seems like anything you touch, you gotta remove a lot of stuff just to get to it. At least everything is pretty easy, just clips and it has guides, so you just line them up, center it and push it in and that's it. Finally got it. Wow, that looks so much cleaner. I definitely like the clear lights a lot better. Boom, check it out, look at that. That looks clean. Like I said, comment below, what do you guys think? You guys like the red ones or the clear ones? I like the clear ones. I'd love to hear your feedback. So let's put the car on the lift and we'll do the calipers and we'll do the exhaust tips. And here's the exhaust tips. Uh, quad black one so it's gonna look real nice instead of this one one single piece so let's remove them replace them and we'll take a look how that looks and it's pretty easy to remove it uh, 15 socket one bolt and it should just come off you gotta wiggle 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 boom and it's out so very easy, you could do at your house. And here's the new one. Yeah, so much better. And this is a, a glass black uh, chrome. So look how nice that looks. Woo, sheesh. And it just slides in there. Boom, just like this. And that's it. Something like this. Very easy, so I wanna install the other one, kinda measure all the gaps, and then I'll tighten everything at once. Yeah, very convenient the way they made them. So you could change them out anytime. And same thing, wiggle, 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 and it should come up almost. Boom, and it's removed. But honestly, it makes the biggest difference. Little exhaust tips will do the trick. Especially gla uh, glass black, can't go wrong with this. And this is like amazing. Little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so now I just gotta align it. Perfect, so now we could tie both of them up and we're done with the exhaust. And we're done.
just installed the exhaust tips and boy oh boy that came out super clean much better than the original ones next i'm gonna remove uh, all four wheels uh, we're gonna paint the calipers red and we got new wheels uh, coming we already got the tires uh, they're at the tire shop right now the tires are getting mounted and balanced and the final looks gonna uh, look super nice can't wait to see So just remove all the wheels. So now we could start prepping and painting the calipers. Let's take a final look. So this is gonna be the last time you guys see in gray, white looking calipers. And one, two, three. Mirrors and door handles got painted and wow, came out beautiful. Super clean job. Check it out, look at that. Perfect paint job. And same with door handles. And we also end up smoking the front bumper reflector so they'll be functional. If you guys wanna see all the details, how he prepped it and painted, you guys can check it out on LNC Painters YouTube channel. But for now, let's start putting everything back together and get this car ready for delivery. Everything is painted and ready to put together. Definitely not gonna be a fun one. I gotta put everything super carefully so nothing gets scratched because this is fresh paint, so easy to scratch. Oh boy. Well, if somebody could do this, it would be probably me. <laughs> so. Time to do some sketchy stuff. Time to do some sketchy stuff, sketchy stuff. And let's put them together. Let's go. Okay, we'll start with, uh, with the light first. First things first, we'll install the light. Just gotta do everything super, super carefully. Okay, got everything in order, so now we could pull all the bolts and tight everything. Yeah, we're trying to buy this uh, GT2 RS 997.2. So auction day is tomorrow, so maybe we'll get lucky and get this. This is a pretty car. 63,000 right now, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and buy it. Okay, let's continue working on this. This is, this is uh, very important. And boom. Success! And we're done. Look at that beauty. Not a single scratch. Everything came out beautiful. A plus. This one should be a little faster and easier. So let's jump in and knock it out.
put the mirrors completely together and boy oh boy that was fun <laughs> but they're perfect not a single scratch and we're ready to start installing them oh yeah check it out look at this Ooh, that came out super clean so we're ready to start installing i'm gonna install the mirrors the door handles and then for the final i'll do the front bumper Porsche bumper is painted and ready to go. We'll start putting everything back together and it's gonna be a lot of fun to put this bumper back together. Lots of pieces. Should be fun, let's do this. This goes here. Just put the bumper completely together so now we could start installing and also just installed the wheels and we're finished with calipers Woo! check it out look how beautiful that looks wow and if you guys want to see the whole painting process uh visit lnc painter uh, youtube channel and he's gonna have a whole video doing the calipers and all that fun stuff so go ahead and check it out so let's start putting the door handles and mirrors and get this car ready for wash detail and delivery Now we could install the door panel. And super easy to install them, just bada bing bada boom pretty much. Boom, it just closes. Then we'll put this little plug in here. And same thing with this side, plug it in, boom, and then there's a screw on the side, so once you screw that screw back in, the door handle is going to close on its own. Boom. So next, let's install the door panel, and we're done with the interior, and then we'll install the front bumper. So I'm done with the doors completely. Time to wrap up the front end and I put the car on the lift. So this way I got plenty of room to uh, install the fender liner, bumper and all that fun stuff. So let's install the bumper and we'll go from there. Next, we're gonna install the headlights. And same thing, they just slide in. Really good system right here. Boom, and same with this one. Boom, and that's it. Very nice system. All Porsches created, very easy to install them and remove them. Boom, perfect gaps, everything lines up, super nice. So next we'll put this flare, 
because it has a bunch of bolts that we gotta uh, screw in and then we'll install the fender liner last. So next I want to install the carbon fiber spoiler. Got a nice carbon fiber spoiler. Gonna go really nice over here. So let's do that. That's gonna be the final and we're done with this one. That's it, we're all finished. And uh, carbon fiber spoiler makes the biggest difference. I like it. Came out really clean. So next we'll wash the car and it's ready for delivery. Let's go. Porsche is washed, detailed, and ready to go. Wow, came out beautiful, I love it. So let's do a quick walk around and see exactly what we did. We'll start with the front bumper. Front bumper, we got rid of the license plate, and it looks so much cleaner. I don't know why they put license plate, it just ruins the aesthetics. And then we had to uh, smoke this out. Unfortunately, the car is too new, so they don't sell aftermarket clear or smoke. So we just had to uh, pour a little tint on it, but still working. And uh, you could see the light. Also got 22 inch wheels with Pirelli tires and we painted the calipers red. Wow, came out clean, look at that. It looks so much better. Also painted the mirrors completely, painted the door handles, staggered wheels. So the back ones is a 315, so super wide. Yeah, 315 and up front 285, 35.2. In the back, 315, 30, 22. For the back, uh, we changed the tail lights to clear, and I think clear just makes it so much better. We got rid of the chrome Porsche sign as well, and got rid of the Cayenne chrome as well. Installed the exhaust tips, glass black, and it looks so much better, and this is a quad exhaust now. And then for the final, the spoiler. This spoiler actually sits really well, and it just makes the biggest difference too. Look at that, side aesthetics. But yeah, we're finished with this car. Uh, customer is on its way to pick it up. So please drop a comment. would love to hear your feedback on this build. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content, you know what to do. Subscribe, don't forget to like this video and I'll catch you guys in the next build. Do svidanya!